Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the finale to my project Use It Up from Fall. I know it's a little bit late, I just have not had a chance to sit down and film. It's been a crazy couple of weeks of December, but I do have quite a few empties to show you guys, some progress, and then I'm gonna tally up all of my empties from the entire fall project, so let's get started. Okay, so the best news that I have to share is that I finished up all six of the products that I said I would finish up last month. So I did great. I finished off Midnight Amber Glow in the Body Cream. Really, really love this one. It's one of my favorite scents. I only had a tiny bit left anyways, so that one was gonna be done quick. I finished off Replicas by The Fireplace. This one, I had just about this much left, so now I'm 10 left. I didn't love this scent, I have to say. It was a little too, um, I don't know, outdoorsy for me. So wasn't my favorite. And then I did finish off my Champagne Apple and Honey set. I finished off the little mini body cream that I had, which only had about this much left. I finished off the body lotion, which this one had about this much left. Finished off the shower gel, which had about the same amount left. And the last thing that I finished that I'm really proud of is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Shower Gel. This was so yummy. Um, I can't remember if they came out with it again this year or not. If I see it at SAS though, I'll definitely pick it up again in the shower gel. It was so yummy. And I finished it off from right here to the bottom. So those are my six empties from the last month. Now I'm gonna get into some progress. So first is my little white pumpkin and chai routine. I had these four products in it. Now for the fine fragrance mist and the lotion, I did use up this lotion quite a bit from here to here. I loved having a pump on this, it made it so easy to reach for it, not have to like move anything. So I think I'm gonna buy some more of these pumps and put them on like every one of my lotions that I start using because it's so convenient and really makes me reach for them. So I loved that. Um, I got a little bit of progress on the spray, just a bit. I really only used this like around Thanksgiving and that was about it. So didn't use it too much, but got a little progress. For this Replica Autumn Vibes perfume, I didn't use it that much. Again, it's one of those kind of really strong ones that triggers my asthma. So I did not like this. Um, it's still right about here. I got a little bit of progress on it. Um, yeah. And then pumpkin icing in the shower gel from Philosophy. I love this stuff, it's so good. So I got a little bit of progress on this one and I will definitely just save this for next year. Next, I have my Vanilla Mocha Cafe set, which only has three products left. I definitely started off with a lot more. So we have it in the um, Fine Fragrance Mist. Love this one, this packaging is so cute. And you can see my progress from here to here. I'm almost finished with it, which makes me kind of sad, uh, but I know that I can definitely purchase backups of this one if I do ever finish it because it's been coming out consistently for the last couple of years. And then I have my Glossier Body Hero Dry Touch Oil Mist. I love this stuff. I use it every time I shave my legs, so I've been using it quite a bit. Just got a little bit of progress on it. I probably won't put this in a project again. It's kind of more so one of my like everyday necessities. So this, this turned out to be a really, really great item and I definitely recommend it. If you need an oil and you like, you need one that doesn't feel like an oil, this feels so nice and it dries really quickly. So I love this one. And then lastly, I have the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla Perfume. I barely have any left. You can't see inside of this bottle, which makes me mad, but I'm pretty much almost done. I think I'm probably about right here. This one is nice. I like it. It does not have any staying power though. So that makes me a little sad. Um, yeah. Not my favorite just because of the staying power, but it smells really good when you first put it on. We have whatever's left of my champagne, apple, and honey routine, which is just these three products. I have the little mini fine fragrance mist. I love this scent for the beginning of autumn. I didn't really use it that much in the last month, just a tiny bit. So as you can tell, I don't really like it for November. I have the Tree Hut Apple Macchiato Scrub. This was nice, very, very, very fruity. Um, as you can tell, I've got a lot of progress on it. Um, I probably have about a third of it left, maybe a little less, maybe a fourth of it left. So I think I'll just save this and maybe bring it back out in like the springtime. But I did like this one. The scent is super fruity. And then my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy perfume. It's also almost done. Every time I think it's finished, it still like pops out just a little bit of drops. So I'm, I'm so close to finishing it, but it's not done yet. Next, we have Vampire Blood and the Shower Gel. 
I did leave this in Ryan's bathroom and he's really been getting through it. So the last month he made this much progress. I think he likes it. I'll have to ask him for sure. To me, it smells a little medicinal, but I guess he likes it. So I'll keep it in his shower probably. And the last one that I have to update you guys on is my little Everlasting Magic slash Together Weather combo. So Everlasting Magic, I actually really enjoyed the Fine Fragrance Mist in this one over the last month. It's Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. When I was feeling like I wanted a nice feminine scent, I reached for this one. So I have a little bit of progress on it, not a lot, but I definitely enjoyed it. And then in the body cream, I got from around here to just about right here. So definitely liked it. I enjoyed this formula too. It smells really nice. So like that one. Together Weather is like slowly turning into my nemesis. Um, <laughs> I hate this scent. It smells so bad. So I'm about right here on the packaging. I'm pretty much almost done. I have a tiny bit left. Um, I mean, I have a tiny bit of progress, but yeah, I really hate this scent. So I guess I'll just leave it in my collection, try and finish it in the spring, but I honestly wouldn't put it past myself to just throw it away sometime soon because I just, I hate it so much. So anyways, okay, the last thing I have to update is my Dossier Floriental Brown Sugar um, perfume and this one I got a little bit of progress in the last month um, not a ton I like this one like I said for times that I'm feeling very feminine or I have like events I'll definitely reach for this but it's just not my everyday kind of perfume okay so that's all for the updates and now I'm going to lay out everything on my bed that I finished during the entire fall project and we will be done all right, here are all of the products that I finished up during my fall project Use It Up. I finished off three shower gels, one full-size body lotion, one full-size body cream, and one mini body cream. I finished off two body scrubs and then two mini perfumes. So total, I finished off 10 products. That is about typical for me for a season to finish off around 10. I definitely had a really lofty goal of, I think it was 16 for this project, but I did not hit that. I hit 10, which I'm still happy with. At least I got into, you know, double digits. But yeah, these are the 10 products that I finished off this fall. Okay, well, that is everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned because the next video that you will see from me will be my winter Project Use It Up intro. I've actually already been using some of the products in the project, so it's been really fun. But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.